Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Zen Market. I just really love proxy shopping and felt like sharing it's wonders with my audience, seeing how lots of people are missing out on something great, which, if uncontrolled, will make all of your money disappear into thin air. Enjoy. Aww, cute. Wonder where I can buy this plush. Maybe... Okay, maybe a different website. <sighs> okay, maybe this one. Okay, how about this? And this? And... I don't need it. 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 Well, proxy shopping is always an option. I don't know. So, proxy shopping. Basically, it's a method you can use in order to buy items from Japanese websites that normally wouldn't ship overseas. Or, if a Japanese website does offer international shipping, it's a much cheaper option. In a sense, it's very similar to regular online shopping, only with proxy shopping there's a third party involved. Because of the difference in shopping structure, the costs involved are a little different as well. With proxy shopping, there's a lot more fees and extra charges involved when compared to regular shopping. I mean, these companies also need to make a living, so you can't... Hold it! What's the point of using a proxy shopping service, exactly? Isn't it just a more expensive way to get your shit shipped to you? Wrong! Even if it doesn't appear so, proxy shopping actually saves you a lot of money in this regard, despite having a bunch of extra fees and charges. For example, let's say we want to buy a Nendoroid from AmiAmi. AmiAmi is a website where you can buy a lot of anime and manga related merch, especially figurines. The website has both an international service, which ships overseas, as well as a Japanese service, which only ships within Japan. When buying this Nendoroid through their international service, the total price would consist of the item price, shipping costs, and customs slash import fees. Now don't be fooled. Even if you think you scored a good deal by managing to keep the overseas shipping to a low cost, customs will fuck you over. NANI? When buying stuff from foreign countries, usually you can import goods tax-free up to a certain amount. Tax differs from country to country, but usually this ranges somewhere from 15 to 25% of the item price. Not only taxes, but also additional costs will come into play if you pass a certain threshold, which skyrockets the total price of your item. So, um, if you want to keep your kidneys, don't shop from Ami Ami internationally. Or any other Japanese shop that ships overseas for that matter. Now, if you were to buy the Nendoroid from Ami Ami's Japanese website by using a proxy shopping service, the price would consist of the following fees. You, newsflash. That is a fuckton of fees. I know, but guess what? All these costs still total to a lesser amount than the international item price. Given you use a proxy shopping service that doesn't have ridiculous high fees, of course. There are a lot of proxy shopping services out there, each service having their own set of fees and costs, some having really high fees, some having very good customer service, some having very good packaging, some with good website interfaces, the list goes on and on. Now, because I'm a total cheapskate, like all Dutch people, I've done quite a bit of research to try and find a website that has low fees, yet delivers good service, and I managed to do so. However, I highly suggest you also do some research yourself, as there's a ton of other proxy services I probably haven't even heard of. Personally, I've come to the conclusion that Zen Market is the best proxy shopping site, as they have low fees, good customer service, and great packaging. Plus, they only charge a 300 yen flat rate service fee. So no bank transfer fee, no item fee, no consolidation fee, and no insurance fee. Which are fees that other companies most likely would bring into account. So, I'll be showing you guys how to do some proxy shopping using Zen Market. Zen Market offers two different services, a shopping service and an auction service. In order to use any of these services, you'll need to make an account. If you want, you can use your Google Plus account, which is what I did. 
Upon registering, Zen Market will give you 300 yen for free, meaning you won't have to pay for the service fee on your first product. In order to purchase stuff, you'll first need to add some funds to your account. You can do this in several ways, but I like to add funds using PayPal. All money you add to your account will be converted into Japanese yen. Personally, I like to put around 4000 to 5000 yen on my account whenever I want to buy something, though for the sake of this tutorial I won't be doing so. In this blue bar over here you'll be able to find all the Zen Market integrated shopping sites, including their own exclusive shopping service. Over on the other shops page they also have a section that lists a bunch of different Japanese websites you can shop at. If you're still unable to find the item you're looking for, you can always click here and ask Zen Market. Though in my opinion you're probably better off searching for the items yourself. If you wish to buy an item from a website that isn't listed on Zen Market's website, all you need to do is copy and paste the link to the item page into the search bar. Usually you'll be taken to a Zen Market purchase page. If you aren't, however, your order will instead be processed through customer service. Now what I like to do in order to get the best search results is by searching for the specific item I'm looking for in Japanese. Usually if you search for items using English words, you don't really get that many search results. In order to buy something, you first need to go to either Rakuten, Amazon, Yahoo Shopping or any other Japanese web shop. So let's say you want to buy a Pikachu plushie. First what we'll do is we'll translate the name into Japanese. Then copy and paste it into the search bar and we'll get a page full of Pikachu plushies. As you can see, All prices are listed in Japanese yen, but if you want you can also change it to a different currency. In my case, Euro. Though I always prefer keeping the pricing in yen, as most things on Zen Market are still listed in yen. Let's say I want to buy a Pikachu plush pouch. Now, like I said, proxy shopping comes with a lot of fees, so don't be fooled by the cheap price of the item itself. An item you purchase through Zen Market without it being shipped to you will cost you the item price itself, along with the 300 yen service fee, plus the domestic shipping costs. The latter being the thing that can either make or break a deal. Roughly 90% of things you buy from these Japanese websites will place the burden of domestic shipping costs onto the buyer, so be aware of that. This page will list a whole bunch of information regarding the item you wish to buy, such as the picture, the price, whether it's free to ship within Japan or not, what the condition of the item is, a box where you can submit any possible comments regarding the item, the Yahoo page. Uh, I highly recommend checking this page and using Google Translate if you feel certain info is lacking, as it might be displayed here. In this case, it's somewhat unclear whether you get both or one version of this pouch, so let's go ahead and check the Yahoo's page. And as can be seen here, there indeed are two options of pouches you can choose from. So you don't get both, you need to pick one. Uh, further we have the question box. If you happen to have a question regarding the item, you can submit that here. Further you can also report the page and add it to your watch list. Uh, this is a list where you can keep track of shop items, auctions and all sorts of stuff. Uh, which is really really handy if you have certain things you think of buying in the future. Uh, you can view this list by clicking up here. And over here we also have a section where you can calculate the estimated price of the item based on the weight and where it needs to be shipped to. Now you can click add to cart. If you head over to my account you'll see the item being processed. Zen Market will first check the availability of the item alongside the domestic shipping. This usually takes a couple of hours to a day to complete. Once this is done, you can proceed to pay for the item. From here on it's mainly just a waiting game. Zen Market will first have to purchase the item from the seller. Once it's bought, they need to wait for the seller to send the item. And finally, once the item is shipped, you'll need to wait for it to arrive to the warehouse. This total wait usually takes around a week to complete. With each of these stages, you'll receive notifications from Zen Market. These can be viewed in the Events tab. Once an item is at the warehouse, you'll have the option to order pictures if you wish to double check the condition of the item. However, this will cost you an additional 500 yen, so I recommend not doing this unless you're really skeptical about the condition of the item. 
On the main page you'll be able to view the current status of all the items you've ordered, uh, the amount of money in your account and basically just a total overview of everything. In the messages tab you'll be able to contact customer service and you can pretty much ask these people about anything. Whether you have a question regarding an item, their service, pretty much anything goes. You can contact them here. They usually reply within 3 to 12 hours and there's no bots here, it's all real people. Given their English is a little bit wonky, but overall they do offer great service. In the events tab you'll be able to see all recent activity within your account. The package page gives you an overview of all packages you've created so far and I'll explain this page in more detail later. And then there's payment which contains all of the money transactions within your account and their settings. Now Yahoo Auctions is a little different from other shopping sites. This place just being... <sighs> Fuck, they have so much cool and cheap stuff here. If you're good at bidding, that is. Which from experience I can tell can be rather difficult. Especially if the item you want is also wanted by 50 other people or so. When clicking on an auction, you'll be brought to a page similar to an item product page. Instead of the item price, the current bid price will be displayed. Sometimes to the right of this price, a buyout price can be found. If you pay the amount shown, you'll automatically win the auction. Below this, a bunch of extra information regarding the auction can be found, such as when the auction will end, if the seller accepts returns, whether you need to pay taxes for this product, and whether there's an automatic extension rule involved. Bidding is actually quite simple. All you have to do is place a higher bid than the current bid. The person with the highest bid at the end of the auction will win the item. Again, just like with regular shopping, when bidding using Yahoo Auctions, you'll be charged a 300 yen fee. The minimum amount you can increase the bid with is 100 yen. If you happen to be outbid, you'll immediately get all your money refunded. Just keep in mind that you can't undo a bid once it's been placed, which is what almost got me screwed over one time. Yahoo Auctions also works with an auto-increase bid system. For example, say the current bid price of an item is 500 yen and you place a bid of 1200 yen, the price will increase to 600 yen. If another person comes along and places a bid of 700 yen, the price will immediately increase to 800 yen. Meaning unless someone bids higher than your max bid, you'll always remain on top. Now because of this system and the auto extension rule, it's really easy to end up going way past your actual price cap. Because of this, it's very important to keep reminding yourself that this item will most likely appear again sometime soon on the auctions. So it's not worth it getting it for this ridiculous price, just so you can be like, Her, I won the auction, and you didn't, you pitiful peasant. <laughs> And immediately regret your decisions moments later when you discover you just blew your entire life savings budget on that Dekafumo Chirno plush. But it's so worth it. You get a hole of yourself. Now once all your auction won or bought items have arrived at the warehouse, you can proceed to the next part of shopping. Shipping. In order to ship your items to your home, you'll first need to create a package. You'll then be brought to this page. On this page you can select which items you wish to consolidate into your package. Usually this service requires you to pay an extra consolidation fee, but Send Market luckily does this for free. Below this you'll be able to see the total value of the content of the package, as well as the declared value of the package. Use this option wisely. On the right you can fill out all your shipping details and pick a shipping option, along with some additional things. If you want to get an indication how much the shipping cost of your package is, click this blue button. Personally, I always use sell small package, simply because it's the cheapest, however it does have a handful of restrictions regarding maximum weight and dimensions of the package, but then again that kinda goes for all shipping options. Once you've created your package, you'll be able to view it on the package page. Usually you need to wait one or two days for Zen Market to determine the weight of your package and tell you what price to pay for the shipping. Once paid, they tend to ship your package within the next couple of days. You'll also receive a tracking number. 
Aside from that, you can also view the legal documentation that's included with the parcel, as well as other details such as the dimensions, value of the contents, and some other stuff. Okay, so this is a little unexpected, but uh, so far all items I've ever ordered from Zen Market would be shipped in a parcel. But because I only ordered a plushie this time, which can't really be damaged, uh, they decided to ship it in a bag. So I sadly cannot show you guys what a boxed parcel looks like, but just trust me on this. Again, the dimensions of the bag or box will depend on how many items you shipped at once. So, let's open up! Now, you'll have to trust me on this, but one thing I really like about Send Market shipping is how they stuff the entire inside of the box with bubble wrap and air packets to prevent items from sliding around and keeping everything nice and protected. So that's the basic guide to proxy shopping. Personally, I only discovered proxy shopping about 10 months ago and so far I've purchased 9 Nendoroids, 2 Dojin CDs and 3 plushies and just received my new Pachirisu plush. So trust me when I say proxy shopping is amazing. You just gotta watch how you don't go bankrupt. So try to at least set some boundaries. Anyway, I hope this guide was helpful to those new to proxy shopping. If you guys want, I'll be more than happy to make a separate video where I share my personal proxy shopping tips, such as what websites I personally shop at, what types of domestic shipping services there are, along with some other tips. If you still have questions, feel free to comment them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you. Thank you for watching, bye! Oh yeah, and I'll probably also make a video regarding buying authentic cheap Nendoroids using proxy shopping in the near future. So be sure to look forward to that. Bye, for real now.